up my dudes, Leon here. So if this box is what I think it is, then today's video is going to be an unboxing slash guide on what drafting instruments every architecture student is going to need. Let's unbox this thing. Alright guys, so I've laid out all of the drafting instruments in this table in front of me so that I can show it to you guys easier. But before we begin, I would like to thank Alvin Drafting Tools for sending me this whole care package of super awesome drafting instruments and you know, pencils and whatnot. Some of these things I haven't even seen ever. Go down in the description below and check out Alvin Drafting Tools and give them some love in their Instagram. And you know, links in the description guys. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to begin from the right to the left. Okay, so the first thing we are going to check out are the triangular scales. So right here I have two. I have one in imperial system and then one in the metric system. And first thing I could see is that it is black. Master of obviousness. <laughs> Anyways, most triangular scales come in this white plastic and I do not like that because you know over time that white triangular scale is going to turn yellow. I'm glad that they gave me this black triangular scale because I, I actually lost my triangular scale. Thank you Alvin for sending me this black triangular scale. Super awesome. Let's move on to the next item which is the scale guards. So right here we have scale guards. So it sounds like some sort of armor made out of scales. But actually a scale guard is used to mark your scale. So you put this on the scale that you're currently using so that you can easily identify which scale you are using right now without having to turn your triangular scale a ton of times, you know. So yeah, that is one of the uses of the scale guards. So the next thing we have is the true flex Roman numeral number two flexible curve. So basically a flexible curve is like this bendable ruler that you could shape into any curve you want so that you don't have to mess around with French curves and you know trying to find the proper curve. So with this you can just mold it to the curve that you desire and boom there you go. Makes your drafting super easier. So next thing we have are the compasses. So right here we have a quick adjustable compass and then on the other hand we have a set of three compasses and one speed bow. So this compass that I have in my hand is a precision compass which means it has this wheel knob and thing that you can turn to precisely adjust the angle of your compass thus increasing or reducing the radius of your circle. The next things they sent us are this stainless steel L squares and a stainless steel triangle. Okay so we have two L squares and one stainless steel triangle. So this is actually the first time that I've seen these things. But I imagine that I would be using this for scale models, especially when cutting angles and stuff like that. So that is where you use stainless steel straight edges when cutting materials for your scale model. Alright guys, so let's move on to our next thing which is this true angle adjustable triangle. Let's check that out. So basically an adjustable triangle is like a triangle that you can adjust master of obviousness. With this, you can just turn this knob and adjust it to any angle that you desire from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Super useful especially when you don't want to carry around a bunch of triangles so you just carry one triangle with you. Okay, now that we've checked out the adjustable triangle, let's take a look at their regular triangles. So right here I have in my hands are two professional acrylic triangles, one 45 degree 90 degree triangle and one 30 or 60 degree triangle. So what I love about these acrylic triangles is that they don't have those measurement increment line thingies. So what those measuring increments usually do is those things pick up graphite and dust on your plate and it smudges it around and creates those evil black smudge thingies. So there you go, professional acrylic triangles. For those of you who are having trouble with evil, dirty smudge thingies on your plates or on your drafting paper, Buy these things and you'll be surprised how clean your plate is after drafting. Woo, so warm. I love these triangles, man, and I can't wait to use them. Let's move on to the next thing on the table, which are the French curve sets. So this is an eight-piece set. We have three giant French curve thingies, and then we have two medium-sized French curve thingies, and lastly, three small French curve thingamabobs for drawing people like one of your French curves. Nobody probably even got that Titanic reference joke. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so the next item is a parallel glider. Right there. So a parallel glider is basically a ruler with two wheels on it. So what it does is it helps you draw parallel lines super quickly without the assistance of a T-square or a triangle. Super useful when you're doing a ton of hatches 
or a ton of like repetitive parallel lines this will come in handy and will make you draw faster moving on to this whole section right here in front of me we have three types of protractors we have one circle protractor with a bunch of circular guides we have one regular protractor and we have one giant regular protractor okay moving on to the next thing so here we have an isometric ellipse guide so for those of you who are wondering what an ellipse is basically an ellipse is a circle that is drawn isometrically so there you go isometric ellipse guide and we have three circular templates which are super useful when you're drawing trees and a ton of those things a must have when you are starting architecture school you can never have too much templates especially circular templates because you know your classmates gonna borrow it and it never returns so yeah it's good to have three of these things okay moving on to the next items on our table are these alvin drafting mechanical pencils so right here alvin drafting has been kind enough to send me three of these a 0.3 a 0.7 and a 0.5 mechanical pencil and also they have this leather pocket protector so if you want to show off your mechanical pencils on your chest pocket you can put it there without having to worry about your chest pocket getting all dirty because of your pencils so there you go super awesome i will definitely be using this three especially when drawing a bunch of sketches and you know so i got super excited and opened it without actually filming it so yeah right here we have a lead holder so basically what a lead holder is it's just like a mechanical pencil but it holds a two millimeter lead so the lead of this lead holder is just as big as the graphite inside your regular pencil so there you go super cool and also super useful when doing a bunch of shading okay we are now down to the last section of our table and i'm going to warn you guys this is like the first time i'm going to see some of these so let's begin with the things i've already seen so right here we have an alvin self-healing cutting mat which is super useful when you're doing scale models use this as a backing when cutting material so that you don't end up scratching your table so it has two sides one green and one black and i'm so stoked to have this black one because i've never seen a cutting mat with a black surface so yeah that's super cool to have okay next thing we have is a drafting tape so it's basically just like a masking tape but you know with a fancier name drafting tape makes it sound all architectural and and stuff <laughs> anyways let's move on okay so this thing that i'm holding in my hands are drafting dots so basically what drafting dots are are pre-cut pieces of drafting or masking tape that you could easily get by just pulling this tab and then it's just gonna come out automatically and use the tape to put it on the corners of your drafting paper so that you don't have to mess around looking for the edge of your masking tape and you know cutting it with the scissors and you know stuff like that so these are super useful for those of you who are always mounting and dismounting your plates off of your table. Drafting dots. So the next thing we have is a quadrille paper. First time I've heard of these things. Quadrille paper. So basically it's just like a graphing paper. It has this grid on it. So yeah, quadrille paper. I don't know what that means. Man. And we also have an isometric paper. An isometric paper is what you would usually use to draw isometric drawings master of obviousness thus the name isometric paper i don't know why i had to explain that anyways it has this 30 90 120 degree lines drawn on it so you can use those lines as a guide when you want to draw isometric things super cool also the first time i've ever seen one of these and then we are now down to the last two things which are these two tracing papers we have one in orange and one in white so these things come super useful when you are sketching out preliminary plans or doing sketches so you can overlay them on top of each other. I've been thinking about buying one of these rolls but Alvin Rafting has sent me this so I don't have to buy anymore. Thank God my wallet is saved. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, tracing paper, super useful when you are a student especially when conceptualizing and sketching. And I guess that is it. I think I didn't miss anything. Oh. One last thing, we almost missed this. Alvin sandpaper pointer pads. So upon further research, I found out that sandpaper pointer pads are used to sharpen the graphites of your pencils. So after sharpening your pencil with a sharpener, you can bring it into this sandpaper pointer pad and just rub the graphite against the sandpaper to make it even sharper. And boom, you can now stab little tiny germs with your pencil because it's super pointy and super sharp. Anyways, 
there you go super cool we'll definitely be testing this out and there you go i guess that is the whole video guys i am super sweaty now anyways if you guys like any of the drafting instruments that i've measured here in the video today check out the links down in the description and go buy some from alvin drafting tools so again thank you to alvin drafting for sending me all of these drafting tools to play with and to show to you guys so this video wouldn't be possible without them and also this video is not sponsored so all of the things that i said about these things are completely my opinion and wasn't dictated by them so yeah there you go if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe down below for more architectural videos like this from me your boy lian the camera is too far but i will try i will see you guys on the next video flying peace oh it's too far gosh dang it ah. Like, please.